everyone, we, welcome back to Sam Says. We are here with Gregory Haney, and just some background on Gregory. Gregory is a huge Broadway star. Some of his work includes CBS's Blue Blood and Comedy Central's Broad City. Um, we've also been in lots of Broadway shows, but today we're gonna talk about fashion. So welcome, Gregory. Hi, thank you for having me. No, thank you so much for coming. Okay, so now let's talk about who you're wearing. Timberland boots because it's you know winter season, so it's snow Love season, them. and you gotta have a good boot. I'm also wearing Zan Rowe pants, which is an Australian designer mm -hmm. who I absolutely love. They're joggers, which joggers right oh, now. Oh, I are love joggers. Ben Sherman, I love Ben Sherman. He's got really good blazers and button downs, and just like a really nice aesthetic that yeah. fits a lot of body types. And it's all about the denim too. It so. is. And then my denim is Levi's. I'm all about denim. Classic. Yes. And then totally uh, some, of my, some of my jewelry is uh, double and front and red Love your style. Thanks. So I know you've been in lots of big plays, like Bringing on the Musical and Tarzan, lots of other ones, but can you tell me about the costume fashion? So, bring it on, I actually played the first transgender high school student on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And so her name was La Cienega, and she was fierce, fabulous, <laughs> and fully formed. Look at all the joy you bring. She had a very eclectic style. Like, she would mix patterns and colors, and she felt like wearing uh, tangerine tights with a purple Marc Jacobs skirt. She's going to do it. Great. Yeah, and then what's wrong with that? Exactly. Exactly. In Wicked, it's a lot about flourish, and it starts out very, very sleek mm -hmm. suits, asymmetrical lines, and then it moves more into really grand uh, couture almost. Who is your favorite person to follow on Instagram? Actually, it's the GQ Instagram. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. And then men's fashion, and then there is Dapper Dan. A lot of times you don't really hear about men's fashion. I know, sadly, but it's evolving. It is. It's getting there. Tell me about the film Demolition and what it was like to film with the amazing Jake Gyllenhaal. It was my first feature film, and it was with the uh, director of uh, Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, cool. So working with both uh, John and Jake was amazing. So what is the funkiest outfit you've worn on stage or on screen? Okay, so we never made it to the actual stage because it was really outrageous. Really? But yeah, our costume designer for Bring It On put me in a full leotard, tie-dye. Oh my god. And she decided to cut it right below the knee and then put like a flirty little skirt over it. And I was just standing there in the, <laughs> in the fitting just looking like... I don't, I don't know if I could pull this off. <laughs> so what are some must-have accessories for a New Yorker on the go? Everybody likes black, so a uh -huh. staple piece is a full black outfit. Just notice your shoes. Oh, thank you. Also, I think for men, uh, hats and watches, because I think those are the little little accessory pieces that people forget about, and it, it kind of like pulls the outfit together. I agree, it does pull an outfit together. Yeah. Like your hat. Like my hat. Looks cool. Thank you. Love that. Who is your fashion icon? I do have a, a very high respect for Tom Ford. His vision on what men look like and how they should like present themselves is really spot on. It's I classic, totally it never goes out of style, and you can mix and match. I like to call myself a Harlem hipster. Yeah. Because I live in Harlem, but like I change things up. So having like a, a fedora mixed with a khaki straight leg pant and, and loafers with Love. some crazy top or an oversized top because yeah. you gotta be comfortable in New York. All about that. If you were stranded on a deserted island and could only bring three things, what would they be? One would be my dog. I have a little, I have a five-year-old, Jack Russell. Oh, so Winston so is coming. A scrapbook, because when I was on tour with Bring It On, I decided to do a scrapbook of fashion. So I would cut out things Fine. and like put together because I, I style also. I don't know, a good book. I mean, a good book never goes out of style, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know. So be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more fashion, phenomenon stuff, and also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and y'all should all check out Gregory's Instagram too at chihaney22.